Hello and welcome to PBADU. Here we solve all your queries related to chemistry and B Ed course. Today we have a question on thermodynamics. The standard enthalpies of the combustion of C6H6 liquid carbon graphite H2 are respectively minus 3270 kilojoule per mole minus 394 kilojoule per mole and minus 286 kilojoule per mole. What is the standard enthalpy of formation of C6H6 liquid in kilojoule per mole? So we have to calculate the standard enthalpy of formation of C6H6. So whenever we are talking about standard enthalpy of formation of a compound, it means we are talking about formation of one mole of the compound. So C6H6 is forming, it is one mole. And it is forming form its stable elemental form of the element. So the carbon exists as carbon and hydrogen exists as hydrogen gas. If we have to balance, then there are six carbon on the left hand side. We will balance it like on the right hand side. And there are six hydrogens on the right hand side. So we will have to write three here. So now it is balanced. Now we have the this reaction and we have to calculate the enthalpy of this reaction it means if the reaction enthalpy means the formation enthalpy of this reaction because this is a formation reaction of c6h6 we our aim is this first we have given the enthalpy of combustion of c6h6 we have we have given all the we are given with all the combustion enthalpies means reaction with oxygen it means one mole of C6H6, one mole of carbon and one mole of H2 are reacting respectively. So we will write all the reactions. First reaction is C6H6. Its reaction with oxygen. It would form CO2 because it is a hydrocarbon. It would form carbon dioxide and water. We will balance the reaction like this. Now the oxygen will have, you have to balance it. So, I am not uh, involving all these, all these steps. We, I am only writing the coefficient. So, there would come 6 and there would come 3. So, for this enthalpy is given minus 3270. We can write it del H1. So, minus 3270 kilojoule per mole. We can write this like per mole like that and in a different way too. So, kilojoule per mole. So, this is the first reaction. Now, you have to see only the required reaction. In the required reaction, C6H6 is on the product side. It means we have to use this reaction, the first reaction, to get the enthalpy of this required reaction. And in this, we have to write the C6H6 on the right hand side. So, it means we have to reverse, reverse the first reaction. And on reversing the enthalpy sign also changes. So we will reverse the first reaction and we would get C6H6 plus. If we have to reverse, it means product will go on the reactant side and reactant would go on the product side. So C6H6 would go on the product side and 6 CO2 plus 3H2O would come on the reactant side. And on the product side, there would be C6H6 and 15 by 2. O2. So, enthalpy sign also changes. So, now del H1 dash, we can say it del H1 dash is positive 3270 kilojoule per mole. Now, this reaction we would name it as A. Now, the second reaction is given for the combustion of carbon. So, we will write the second reaction now. So, carbon plus oxygen would give CO2, the basic reaction, we don't have to balance it, it is already balanced and the enthalpy is given is minus 394 kilojoule. Enthalpy we can write it like this, minus 394 kilojoule per mole. So now we have to see the required reaction. In the required reaction, there is carbon. We can see there is carbon. So it is on the reactant side, both in the required reaction and in the second reaction. But in the required reaction, we need 6 moles of carbon. So, we would multiply this second reaction by 6, the integer 6. So, now we would get like we have to uh, multiply this. It means like we have to multiply like this 6 CO2 C, o, C plus O2 gives CO2. So, all will get uh, multiplied by 6. 
and the enthalpy of the new reaction like 6C plus 6O2 gives 6CO2. The enthalpy also would mul get multiplied. Now we would get del H2 dash. It would get multiplied the first enthalpy and we would get del H2 dash that is 6 into minus 394 kilojoule per mole it would be minus 2364 kilojoule per mole so we have the second reaction that is required second we will name it b because we required six carbon moles in the reactant side now we would go to the next reaction that is combustion of h2 gas Third reaction. So H2 gas would com get combusted with O2 and it would form H2, H2 vapors. So we have to balance it like this. We have balanced the reaction. Now the enthalpy given for this reaction we would name it as del H3 and it is given minus 286 kilojoule per mole, minus 286 kilojoule per mole. Now in the required reaction, we can see that there are three moles of H2. So we have we need three moles of H2 on the reactant side. So we would multiply three by this reaction. This is the third equation. So we would multiply three. Like the number, uh, the equation number is three, and we would multiply with the integer three. Now three would be multiplied with H2 plus. Half H2, half, half O2 gives H2 and the enthalpy, the new enthalpy would be multiplied with del H3. Now we will get the new reaction 3H2 plus 3 by 2 O2 gives 3 H2O. This is a new reaction and we would name it as C and the del H3 dash is 3 into minus 286 kilojoule per mole and that is 858 minus 858 kilojoule per mole. Now we have all the required reactions to get the R required reaction. So we have to add A plus B plus C because we got the product C6H6 as we needed in the required reaction. Then 6 moles of uh, 6 moles of carbon on the reactant side as we needed in the required reaction and 3 moles of H2 on the reactant side that we required we have obtained that also so what we have to do we have to add equation A plus equation B plus equation C when we are adding A plus B plus C we have to add to get the enthalpy for the new reaction we have to add del H 1 dash plus del H 2 dash plus del H 3 dash like this. So we have to add these three reaction A plus B plus C and their enthalpies too. So now we have 6 CO2, 6 carbon and if we see on the opposite side there are 6 CO2 and 6 CO2. So first we have to write the overall reaction that is all uh, we will write first all the reactants 6 CO2 plus 3 H2O plus 6 carbon plus 6 O2 plus 3H2 plus 3 by 2 O2 and on the product side there would be C6H6 15 by 2 O2 plus 6 CO2 and 3 h 2 So we would cancel out all the all the uh, uh, reactants or the compounds that are same on both the sides like 3H2O are same on both the sides and 6, C, uh, 6 CO2 are same on both these sides. We have cancelled it out and for oxygen we have to add it first like this. Yeah, here we will write 3H2 plus 6 CO2 plus 3 by 2 O2. 6 O2 plus 3 by 2 O2 would give us 15 by 2 O2. We have to take the LCM 2 6 are 12 and 12 plus 3 is 15 so 15 by 2 and here C6 H6 plus 15 by 2. So we know that 
15 by 2 O2 is the same on both these sides. It would also cancel out. So we got the required reaction by adding the equations A, B and C. So like this we have to add this also. We have to calculate del H for this reaction because this is the required reaction that we initially wrote. So this is 3270 minus 2364 minus 858. All this as a unit of kilojoule per mole. So you have to subtract this. So after the calculation we get 48 kilojoule per mole as the answer. So the enthalpy of formation of C6H6 liquid from its elements in elemental stable elemental state that is carbon in solid form graphite and hydrogen in gaseous form we get the enthalpy of formation as 48 kilojoule per mole so our answer is positive 48 kilojoule per mole that is given in option b the four are option second or b is correct thank you if you like the solution please subscribe to our channel pb edu for more such content and solutions of your doubts of chemistry. Feel free to ask any query in the comment section below. Thank you.